Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. We're going to talk about how to integrate Gusto Payroll to QuickBooks Online, how you can start sending your payroll data from Gusto to QBO. To begin, let's go ahead and share screen and here we go. Awesome. So log into your Gusto account. You can click on the settings button on the left and then you'll see a bunch of apps. Just click on the popular app. Once you're in the popular app, you should see QuickBooks right off the way. Select connect. That will prompt you to sign into your Intuit account. After you provide your QuickBooks online username and password and sign in, you'll then see a screen confirming, are you sure? You want to connect and this is the opportunity that you have here to agree to connect. You can always disconnect later down the road. You'll find the, all your app connections under my apps in your QBO. After you're connected, you'll then have the ability to set up your integrations. Okay, And so the four things that you need to know about are your chart of accounts in QuickBooks Online. You'll use your bank account that you pay payroll from. You'll have a wages and salaries account that you run. Gusto will true up your gross wages here. A reimbursement is optional. You might not use it, but just have some kind of a, a reimbursement expenses that wouldn't count for payroll in case you do have that for your employees. And then the employer taxes should be set on that. After you're going through the integrations, on the basic account, these are the four. It's just a matter of clicking the drop down for your bank account you pay payroll from wages, reimbursements, employer taxes. That's going to cover you for everything you need at a simple level. For those of you that like to div dive a little bit deeper, you can click on the advanced and you'll just see more mappings, like for example, vacation. It is set up to auto sync by default. So if you're auto sync, is enabled, which is great. As soon as you run payroll in Gusto, it, it's going to push that data over to the side into QuickBooks right away. If you prefer to not have auto sync enabled, you can enable the settings to say no. I will click the sync button to QuickBooks Online for every time you would like it to happen. Okay. Also, when you're in the edit settings, you can have the ability to select the date of the payroll journal that pushes over, check date, debit date, or the end of the pay period. The default is the debit date, which is the date that it comes out of your bank account. All right, so let's say that you set up Gusto and you've got some payroll in the past that you wanna work with. Well, the auto sync settings is only gonna cover you for future payrolls that you do. So you might need to go back in time to sync the prior histories of the year. If that's the case, run the former payroll's history report. And when you land on the payroll, you can cl click the sync button here. When you click on the sync button, it then will show you the time that you did it. And so that will be the timestamp to let you know if it did sync over. Once you sync a former payroll up, uh, you'll then have a journal entry that immediately goes over to QuickBooks Online. And basically this is what is sent over. It's a journal entry and the whole purpose of a journal entry is to correct a financial report or prepare a financial report so that it's accurate. The way that it's accurate is Gusto will send over the gross wages as the debit and will split up the employer taxes and put that under debit. So debits in a journal entry are your expenses. These two right here, whatever that dollar amount is, is going to be the total amount of payroll and the total amount of payroll taxes that your the employer pays. Now on the bank account, Gusto will pay payroll taxes all in one lump sum and that will match to the bank feeds and that'll be a credit. And then if you have direct deposit, you'll see another uh, direct deposit that matches the cash going out. So these are cash going out 
in the form of a journal entry. The greatest thing to quickly find your journal entry is once you're in the QuickBooks side, you can, if you just synced it, you can click on the magnifying glass and then you'll see the recent transactions this is a great way to see anything that you've done recently, including app integrations. You can do that and then just click on the open up the journal entry and that will be, that will give you the chance to go see it there. So I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful. Um, keep in mind that if you want to test drive Gusto or QuickBooks, you can go to the browser of your choice and search for test drive QuickBooks online and test drive Gusto. And that way you'll have like a little own sandbox that you can uh, play around with to test out the software um, environment here. Hey, this has uh, been really, really fun sharing with you about Gusto and QuickBooks. I know that it has been really two great tools that help my clients out tremendously. So I definitely uh, would favor a small business owner that's not quite sure about which payroll company they want to work with to go out and try Gusto. Also, um, QuickBooks Online is just a great tool as well. So I'm going to put in the link um, a link to my calendar if you'd like to have a free diagnostics call with me. You can schedule um, a session with me to talk about these integrations as well as um, just talk about just how, how you might want to just have a little checkup on your bookkeeping work and just look to see if things are in place. Be happy to, to look at that it's, and uh, give you some help and so forth. Uh, definitely, uh, thanks for watching and you all have a great rest of your day. Bye now.